Hello there lovely people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. How are you all doing? Uh today in the second episode I'm going to do a list of 10 fragrances that have sweet memories with me. Some fragrances do not always have to be the latest ones, the best ones ever or uh, the best ones like in Hall of Fame. Some fragrances are special to individual, you know, like a person, let's say Mr. Anderson like Matrix, you know, uh Neo. Let's say Neo has some favorites, you know, not everybody is going to be like Neo. Not everybody is going to like the same thing as he does. But Keanu Reeves is such a person. He is like a very soft spoken, very gentlemanly, down to earth. Imagine in the same way, uh, let's say someone like Borat, you know, <laughs> it's a character, it's a character, but think of him, you know, like or Jim Carrey, they are going to be different, you know, you, you you picture them differently. So everybody has their special uh, fragrances. So I want to speak about 10 fragrances of mine and one uh, honorable mention. sometimes it's just nice to show you what fragrances meant to you you when your journey started early days you know so i'll talk about them randomly it's not a by ranking and i'm feel a little bit better i am drinking peach tea uh this is from malaysia seasons one of my favorite brands luckily we get this here but at three times more cost <laughs> really like it i also like seasons ice lemon tea we call it uh, teo ice limau you know uh Assalamu alaikum and selamat pagi to all my Malaysian friends. <laughs> so, let's show you 10 fragrances that I really enjoyed uh from my journey and on most part these are not anything from the latest uh releases or latest purchases that I made. These are with me for number of years, you know, so many years I have been having this and these fragrances are sort of like uh have a lot of stories to tell so let's just go one by one let's start with this perfume right here this is called pakora banpuram okay and this bottle i bought 50 ml for a price of what we have it here for you can get like 100 ml for this price of 50 ml because malaysia fragrances when i bought these you know like 2016 there were not many online sellers that were reliable or trustworthy i didn't know any so i used to buy from the perfume shop So they used to offer sometimes 10 20 15% discount I used to get them. So this one when I bought this I bought also Azaro Purum a vintage version a small size. This perfume you know at first I did not like it because it smelled a bit mature a bit green and the dry down was really loud but uh, I actually fell in love with this I did say in my review. Uh, I went to Cameron Highlands one time. Cameron Highlands is a little bit higher up from Malaysia's normal ground level. It is much higher up and it's kind of cool there. Nice little uh, breeze and clouds, you know, when you go higher, much nicer weather. Genting Highlands, Cameron Highlands, this place is really really beautiful. So that moment it changed my mind. I woke up one morning and then it was next to my head. I did spray the day before when i was driving to the place and when i woke up i was welcomed uh, by like a nice pile of cloud entering my uh it was not a hotel it was more like a motel everything was, there's no ac there very weird there's no mosquito no bugs nothing and it was the most fresh and cold you know wake up call and that's the moment i smelled this on my arm and i fell in love with it this was my story with pakoraban purom so many occasions over it check out my first review of pakoraban purom i went to a stream i was not even reviewer at that time I just started my channel I was just like an uh not really you know I I was I don't even know what I was talking about but I tried to speak my heart but it feels like most masculine nature like got vanilla in many ways this fragrance basically perhaps pakoraban's uh best fragrance in many ways many people would agree those who tried it this is an iconic fragrance I don't have a vintage version Dan Norton has some of the other guys have but pakoraban purom I do if i don't use that one that much i use this i bought this from bangladesh this is my other bottle this one i use liberally it's a little bit newer version compared to that but they last the same so even the reformulated ones have excellent longevity i highly recommend that one pakoraban purum second fragrance i'm going to show you i also have old bottle i still kept it you know for memory's sake i'll tell you the story this is called armaf niche platinum and armaf niche line is a I don't know if it's actually considered the niche line but they call it the niche line they have paid out and many of the other ones some women's perfume some men's one I did review all the men's ones I think except one perhaps the oud the onyx the black onyx right I reviewed them but this remains one of my most favorite after the oud why you see the bottle is empty see I have very little juice left you know like I kept it I don't know how this is my bottle from I'll show you I'll try to show you yeah it doesn't show how much juice is left it's like literally like one to two sprays like maybe like one spray uh the thing is why this is special the 
fragrance i think this was 2019 batch yes uh in when i came to bangladesh i started my community in my journey with all my bangladeshi friends i started building very small our group was like on about 100 something after that we reached slowly 1000 and now we are about uh, quite a few numbers from foreign countries bangladesh but when i started off i had I still do this you know I still have a lot of excitement when I buy a fragrance but back then I did crazy stuff for fragrances I wouldn't do now I'll tell you honestly speaking I got old that time I was not this old now 41 I'm very old there was a guy who offered this during the month of Ramadan you know Ramadan that time that time is whole day you fast you know fasting and all that you already tired you know hungry and you exhausted it was rainy nice weather immediately after iftar breaking fast I told him I'm going to get it and the thing is his house is in old dhaka and i didn't have a car at that time you know i had i went with riksha riksha means trisha i'm going to take a little bit time so you understand the value of this perfume and the thing is it took me two and a half hours to go and i went through empty roads where i had high risk of being robbed i had cash on me and i reached that house uh, after a long time i found it i think it was 3 hours one way and the other way it was two and a half hours so almost 6 hours of uh two way because rickshaw is very painful ride and the roads are really bad i told i tell you this one and a uh, few other perfumes you know man uh, in my journey some fragrances are special some fragrances are really memorable this one remain really memorable to me uh, the new bottle that i have this is what that looks like nowadays i bought thankfully it's still available This is a fruity, mild spicy, kind of like a very a gentlemanly summer perfume. Decent longevity. Some people do not get the best longevity, but more and more you wear it, you realize it's there. You just like it's mild, okay? So if you want to get uh, a masculine fragrance that is from Middle Eastern country, definitely check out Armaf Niche Platinum. Beautiful fragrance. Okay, third one I'm going to talk about is this one. This is called Bulgari's Man in Black. And I have it on my hand right now. This perfume I actually had the chance to back up. Uh, I can still buy these, but at this current moment, Bulgari's Man in Black, it's supremely expensive. Uh, the prices have gone high by 20 to 30 percent or even more on Bulgari fragrance in Bangladesh. I don't know why. Is it short supply or shortage in supply or taxes? This fragrance used to cost under $50. Now they are around $80 in every shop. $80. Yeah, See, I'm not joking. and that price i'm not going to pay for this i'll look for a deal this is one of my most favorite fragrance of all time this and spice bomb i pick spi- this one over spice bomb most of the time the booze the tuberose the black pepper you know the tobacco the again the booze so nice the fragrance that add if you see man it's that lava the darkness the theme it works this is the best from this line and i now just got recently the where is that there 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 are essence you know that's my second favorite but th- whatever is released from this line all of them are special almost black cologne extreme the original one this one remains the sexiest of them all at night time if it's not too hot this lasts a long time lot of compliments this is a masculine fragrance this is hands down the best designer fragrance ever released okay lot of memories with this bulgari's man in black it's a must have if you're a collector oh man three fragrances already it means gone sorry <laughs> let's cut down the time a little bit next one is bentley for men intense this is my fifth bottle i i lost track uh first time you know this fragrance used to cost not much in uk i i was in malaysia that time still i asked my sister to buy this for me because this one they don't sell in malaysia they don't have this bentley house so if you don't have authorized dealer they don't have fragrances so nowadays you have pages now but back in the 2016 17 not many so this one and then one of the next ones also i ordered and i told her to buy them from me and they were coming back after 6 months or so i said i'm going to wait you know bring them i was going to come back to bangladesh and they're going to come back as well um so i ordered it so much review so much hype this fragrance got so much hype cheapest yet the best bang for buck so long lasting the best boozy scent i was sold you know the the way this was hype unlike many fragrances there's another fragrance called chambre noir by I forgot the house name. All Factive Studio. I forgot the name. This one is similar to that, but this is more louder and that's more expensive. The day I smelled it, 
I realize one thing. This is not for everybody, okay? This one and Leather Blend by Davidoff, two of the most masculine, long-lasting perfumes for cold weathers. This can really be uh, overpowering if you do not know how to wear it. If you bathe in it, this fragrance will choke you. And do not wear this in high heat. You will absolutely hate it. But in winter, if you're just going to say, hey, I'm going to go out in the morning, I'll be back by late night, but I need something to last the whole day, this is one of those fragrances. Bentley for Men Intense. Love it or hate it, but a lot of memories with me, and I love this bottle design. This is one of my most favorite car company fragrance, okay? Bentley for Men Intense. Next one, I recently got the bottle from one of my brothers who sold it to me, and almost full, you know? This is fragrance This fragrance is called Ferrari Bright Neroli. This is so special to me because this is one of the most one of my first purchases in Bangladesh from one of the pages, and I bought so many from them. Um, recent times, no, not that many, but this was one of the bottles that I bought from him, and it was not very cheap. And I saw the review from Max Forty. I saw the juice color, and I love Neroli. I love Mugler Cologne, and I thought I need this because look at that bottle yet. Like some people would not agree with me. This doesn't look luxurious. This cheap. There is leather wrapping here, and this fragrance actually is to cost 75 pounds, okay, like that, and now it's going up again, because these are all, I think, taken down or something like it. This is one of the nicest perfumes in my collection, till date, okay? And I'm telling you, uh, I have massive collection, I'm very proud of my collection, but this actually is one of those fragrances I would always keep very close to my heart, okay? All of them are special, but Fairy Bright Neroli is something special about it. It's a new unisex perfume. Not everybody likes it, but it's just beautiful. I prefer this over 4711 Cologne, even in many ways better than a Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. This one, for me, pricing makes more sense. Amazing fragrance. You know, if you call it cheapy, whatever, it's okay. But look at the beauty of these bottles, okay? Fairy Bright Neroli, very special in my journey. I treasure this perfume. Okay, next one. I'm going to show you two bottles. First, my vintage Nautica Voyage. And this I bought as, bought as a tester. And this is how that vintage look. It used to have a metal cap, heavy cap. And I'll show you my newer formulation, which comes with a cap. Uh, this one, if I take it out, you see the neck is a bit different, right? The previous one had neck covered all the way. If I can show you with my <laughs> one hand. Uh, this is the vintage. And the back, this is the new formulation. So what's the difference between the two? Yeah, the vintage definitely lasts more potent. I use it seldom. The newer one, absolutely no problem with the performance. Great performance, six, seven hours for a freshie. When I tried it, this is the other fragrance that my sister brought from me, for me from UK. <coughs> and the day I tried it, I was a bit disappointed. I expected more sweet and I didn't know like, oh, this doesn't smell like Versace Purim, even though it's blue juice, it's more salty. It's kind of like a boring, you know, and the, the apple, you know, I was like not very big fan. I kept wearing it. And one day I realized like, you know, I, I put it on like five, six hours back. I can still get whips of it. And uh, this fragrance, that's the moment I realized, you know, for the price that I, pay, that I paid. And I didn't get any negative attention. So in the rainy days, I enjoyed, you know, in the sunny days, I even... Winter time, I enjoy this. So there's no bad time to wear this fragrance. You know, it's a great casual. And I saw Chad, my man, you know, Gentleman's Journey. He reviewed it from outdoors. You know, he had a small bottle. This fragrance, everybody reviewed, okay? And this is why I got it. This is YouTube Sweetheart. Um, easily one of the best fragrances that your money can buy for summer. Smells so good. Musk, green apple, crisp, kind of like a cucumber everybody knows this if you want to keep one great summer casual fragrance you can definitely try it not take a voyage you can find it absolutely everywhere special fragrance in my journey <clears throat> next one let me show you my old bottle first this is called polo blue okay and i bought polo blue long time before i entered the fragrance game uh, when you're not in the fragrance game so called the game what happens is you know you are a general person like mango people we say mango people means you are one of the person that go to mall and you try out different perfumes you have your eyes on it because i believe men in by right they're attracted to beautiful perfume bottles like you know they see and they like they want to try you know they, they have certain signature scents that's special to them they keep buying ck1 or aventus whatever your case i tried this in polo counter and the lady during it was eat time in malaysia i think long time back 2000 uh, 12, 10, I, I don't remember. So Polo Black was my first. This was my second. I smelled it. I'm like, this is so beautiful. This literally describes me. I love freshies, blue fragrance. This is 
me in a bottle. I prefer this over your Savoir for smell. Just FYI. Uh, the performance, it's not crazy with this. It's more airy, more uh, like, how to say, ozonic, but great uh, projector like Versace Purim. So if you like Versace Purim, high likely you'll like this. It's a masculine fragrance. Really like uh, the atomizer with the atomizer at the side. Okay. If you see, it's blue. I did have an EDP version, but let me show you the new bottle that I bought. I bought many fragrances for love. This is my backup bottle of Polo Blue. And the thing is, this bottle makes me so happy, okay? Because whenever I miss, it's not like I wear this every day because my signature scent, no. But when I crave for it, like, hey, today I'm missing my Malaysian days, my student life. And if you have a backup and you can just take it out and put it on yourself, makes you so happy right so honor no non honorable this is very special fragrance in my journey one of my first fragrance when i was not even in the fragrance game absolutely loved it since the day one polo blue edt i have three more then we'll stop blood chanel okay the edt why this was special i did say it in one of my reviews but i'm just gonna bring back memories i was gifted this 150 mil in my birthday uh it was 2011 i think around that time or 12 I had that bag on my lap. I had I had a uh, MPV, you know, like a seven-seater big car uh, in Malaysia. So I was driving it. I was very happy. I was coming back with all the gifts. I worked in my restaurant. So made a perfect day with my friends. And the moment I was coming out, the bags, the Chanel bag sort of slide out. And then it turned. And it, my, you know, there was like literally, I didn't get any chance. It just, it just slide out and it just landed on the cap. Broke right on the spot. Absolutely. I didn't get to use it more than one spray. And I didn't have any decant or anything. The whole bottle was lost. It's not just the money. It was a very special gift to me. And I could not forget that for a very long time. I still miss that bottle. You know, that, that, that was horrible of me. But I'm very clumsy, unfortunate, bad luck, whatever you say. Now I can afford Blood Chanel. I had all of them except the perfume. But I reviewed all of them. Blood Chanel is such a special fragrance. Do you know why? Not because I broke the bottle. The smell. Uh, whenever I smelled it on other people, I complimented them. You know, it smells so masculine on anybody, you know, like a dude wearing this and you can smell it. It'd be like, hey, Blood Chanel, right? It's that spicy dry down. It, it's just something about Blood Chanel which is, makes it special. Dior Savoir is also special, but it smells more up class than Savoir for me, okay? So Blood Chanel, so many years of, uh, like, we went to different cities, you know, I had that 100 ml bottle later. I took that for my drive. You know, I had 100 ml uh, before this. Uh, whenever I feel like it was gone, I keep like in respray. And the opening, the grapefruit is the most uh, superstar of this perfume. Amazing fragrance. If you can afford it, get it. Blood Chanel, the EDP is the best, by the way. Second last one. Ultra Male, Jean-Paul Gaultier. And if you just take a look, this is the BPI version, not uh, the new version, okay? I have a little bit juice left. And the thing is, I'm not worried. I have another bottle which has about this much, so I, I am okay. But nothing lasts, you know? So if you wish that your vintage will last forever, it's not gonna happen, they're gonna go bad. So better use and finish, right? This is the first fragrance that I bought, you know? Uh, one of the first fragrance when my journey started. I saw Rob08 reviewing it and he said he loved it. I went and bought it straight up. Uh, this is more fruity, you guys know pear, I give, I say pineapple and it's thick sweetness. It's very long lasting, I just love how sweet and casual this fragrance. Many people hate it, they say metrosexual or feminine doesn't matter it smells great on me longevity crazy good the newer ones a little bit less like six hours this older ones used to go like eight to ten hours uh i got compliments from this from elderly people in my car of course freshly sprayed uh i got compliments like this fragrance whatever joy is wearing he has good taste in perfume those are good solid compliments okay um Winter time, beautiful. Night time, beautiful. Dating time, beautiful. Clubbing, amazing fragrance, okay? So I recently ordered 200 ml <clears throat> because I heard it's getting a little bit rare to find. Uh, so perhaps discontinued in some countries. Some countries it's still available, but Ultraman remains one of my favorite perfumes in my journey. I reviewed it a long time back. Last but not least, <clears throat> let me show you my empty bottle. This one right here, Mancera Lemon Lime. I have some juice left here. This is my vintage bottle. How do I know? How do you know? Is the screw cap. Okay, this is my very first bottle that I bought from Starlin Enterprise. And this is the very first shop that brought Mansara in Bangladesh. Uh, so many times, nowadays, new community members, they'll be like, hey, Mansara is everywhere. What are you talking about? When I started reviewing Mansara, when I started collecting Mansara, no one had Mansara in Bangladesh. I sort of made them 
popular and famous people don't even know because from me many other people got to try decans then they bought and then they collected so i reviewed the most number of manuscripts i'm very proud of it and it was getting low so recent times i got a backup from my brother uh, this fragrance is my first mansera and this is why it's special the day i smelled it i'm like wow i never smell anything so straightforward lemon you know it's just a candied lemon and it's so strong you know like what you get from lemon line you know you might think like i got cedrat boise first no i got this first i bought cedrat boise second and then i got the prestigium line this and that lemon line it's like i wore it in winter that winter i wore it 2006 17 winter yes all the time i was wearing it the morning time we went to a trip to do some video dior sober video in certain village we had lunch we came back evening time i fell asleep i woke up i could still smell it on my skin that long lasting this vintage version is the newer version perhaps is not going to be that long lasting but lemon line is my first mansera so that is a special one to me uh, so yeah this just like storytelling and stuff i uh, hope you do not mind that you know sometimes once in a while you like to share what's special to you what are your special uh, memory fragrances to share i have many more perhaps i'll do if you like this kind of videos i'll do many more have a nice day thanks for watching i'll see you soon bye bye